there, my name is Kelly Dale and I'm owner of Off the Beaded Path located in Forest City, North Carolina. For today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a beautiful cross weave bracelet. Now this bracelet is super, super easy to make and it works up really quick for a great gift or real quick project. Um, so for your project today, what you're going to need is some illusion cord, which the beadsmith company makes it's basically a clear cord a clear plastic monofilament cord you're going to need um, optional is two needles and if you choose to use needles you want to use big eye needles you're going to need two clamshells you're going to need your favorite type of closure and then just an assortment of beads so let me show you what we're going to do and that way you can kind of see what you want to pick out for your beads and i'll kind of go over some options for you so this is the two needle cross weave technique that i'm going to show you like i said super 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 easy to do but it's fun and it works up really quickly for your beads you can use bicones you can use rounds gemstones crystals glass beads Whatever you want to use, this project is completely up to you and completely a wonderful thing that uses up extra beads. So, like in these bracelets here, I've used four millimeters rounds, just glass beads in the beginning on each side, and then I've used six millimeter round glass beads here. You can do solid colors, you can do these in single colors. Um, the color possibilities are really endless for this bracelet, and it's so much fun to do. Now, along with your beads, whatever you're going to pick out, you're also going to need a size 11 seed bead to go with these. Um, I'm going to scan out and show you the pattern that I've chose to do today. And I'm going to kind of scoot it over here a little bit so you can see it a little better. But for my project that I'm going to do today, I'm going to be using 4mm round pearls, 4mm jet, just glass round beads, 6mm jet glass round beads, 6mm white pearls, and 8mm white pearls. So I'm using a variety of sizes and materials, and like I said, you can choose anything you want to use. Now to go in between these, I'm going to be using a size 11 Ceylon white Ceylon seed bead. It almost looks like a pearl since I'm going to be using the white pearls. Um, like I said, you're also going to need your two clamshells, and I'm going to zoom in here if you don't know what a clamshell looks like because they are the niftiest little thing you will ever use. Um, it, they're especially good for things that you want a nicer end look to. So, the only problem with the clamshells is that they're not permanently closed. There's no way to permanently close them unless you solder them. Um, and then I don't really know if that's possible or not. But, so like I said, two clamshells. And then I'm going to be using a spring clasp. And I'm going to be using just some simple chain for the other side as my extender. So now go ahead. We're going to get started. And what you'll want to use is I've cut a piece of my illusion cord a yard long and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the cord in half get my ends together get it to the half mark and I'm gonna thread on a seed bead onto one end of the cord and I'm gonna let it drop down now I'm gonna put the two ends together just like this and I'm gonna take my clamshell and the clamshell is an open shell and so what I'm gonna do and I'll zoom in a little bit here for you to see a little better is the end of my clamshell that just has the little open hole down here on the bottom I'm gonna take both the pieces of cord together and I'm going to stick them from the open end of the clamshell through the little hole. You want to make sure both cords go through. And then I'm going to hold the shell and pull through so that my seed bead stops in the clamshell. And then all I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to press the clamshell. I don't want to press it completely closed, but I want to press it enough to where it's almost closed. Okay, now, if you're going to use needles, this is a point you would want to put your needles on. I personally do not use needles because I'm fine with working with just the regular ends of the cord. If you have a little bit of harder time seeing the cord, just take and paint it with a little magic marker on each end so you can see. So first thing I'm going to do is on each thread, I'm going to pick up one seed bead. Then with each thread, I'm going to pick up one four millimeter white pearl. Now, with one needle or one thread, I'm going to pick up one seed bead and I'm going to take my threads and I'm going to cross them opposite ways through the seed bead so that when I grab a hold of each end and I pull, that's going to get me right down there to the bottom exactly where I want it. And I'm going to have a little... To me, it's just a big bubble almost is what I'm going to have. Now, each thread, I'm going to pick up my remaining 4 millimeter white pearl. Then, each needle picks up one seed bead. And now, I'm going to switch over to my black. So, I'm going to thread one black onto each needle. On one thread, I'm going to pick up one seed bead. And I'm going to cross through opposite ways through that one seed bead. And pull my threads opposite ways. So that now... I've made a small X shape with my 4mm white pearls, and I've made half of an X shape with my 4mm black beads. So if you're going to do a solid color, it really doesn't matter how you put them on there. But if you're going to do um, different colors, then you'll definitely need to pay attention to your color scheme that you're going to do. So now I'm ready to go to the next step. So one black on each needle. One seed bead onto each needle. And then the next color I was going to use was my 4 millimeter white. So then I will go on to thread one white onto each needle. Now you can do this one solid size. Like if you're doing this for, say, a very young girl, you could do this all in the smaller size. And that would be very age appropriate. Um, you know, or you can do it all big beads, or you can do, say, like, I wanted these four millimeters, then the black, I could have done six millimeters, and then switched back to fours with my clears. So there's a lot of things that you can do to get some neat results for what you're doing. Okay, so, so far, I've got a black on each thread, a seed bead onto each thread, and then a pearl on each one and then I'm going to pick up the one seed bead and cross opposite ways through the one seed bead so that now it finishes out my X in the black and I get half of the X in the white. Now I'm fixing to convert over to my six millimeters and it's a really easy process. Again I'm going to put one white onto each thread because that it would finish out my little X shape one seed bead onto each thread and now like I said I'm ready to convert over to the black so now I'll put one black onto each thread and then with one thread I'll pick up a seed bead and cross my threads through the seed bead so that now I've made the transition from using fours to now using a six millimeter round bead. I'm gonna put a black on each thread. A seed bead onto each thread. 
And then I'm going to go to my next color, which was the 6 millimeter White Pearl. And I'm going to pick up one pearl on each thread. Then I'll pick up one seed bead and cross my threads opposite ways through that one seed bead. So that now my black X is finished and I've started on the white X with my white pearl. Same thing again. I'm going to put a pearl onto each thread. Then a seed bead onto each thread. And I'm to black now, so I'm going to pick up a black on each thread. And then I will pick up one seed bead and cross my threads opposite ways through the one seed bead. So that finishes the white X. Now I'm on to finishing the black X. So I'm going to pick up a black round onto each thread, a seed bead onto each thread, and now I'm going to add one X with my eight millimeter whites. So I'll put one eight onto each thread, and then pick up one seed bead and cross my threads opposite ways through the one seed bead. So that now I've got the one half of the eights. So now what I do when I thread on my two eights, then I'm gonna work back in the same pattern that I started to the center because my eights were the center. So now I'll just work that pattern until I get all the way to my last little X of the white pearls. So now I've got the length of my bracelet. And to finish off the ends, just like I would have here on the beginning side how I started, I've got my last part of my X, which is a 4 millimeter uh, white pearl and then a seed bead on the ends. So now what I'm going to do is to finish it off, I'm going to take the two ends of my thread and I'm going to put the two ends together and I'm going to take the clamshell and beginning, at the beginning we went through this side here. For the end, we're going to go through the little small opening and I'm going to put both threads through that small opening. And I'm going to bring it down to the bottom. Then, I'm going to take one seed bead and I'm going to let it drop all the way down inside of my clamshell. Pull my threads good and tight and I'm going to let it drop down into the clamshell. And now, if you want to, you can take a like one and a half by one and a half crimp bead and you can thread it over both threads, pull it down into your uh, your clamshell and you can flatten out that crimp and that'll suffice too but I try to use as little um, material as I can so I'm just going to take the two pieces now and I'm going to tie them into a knot. Now when I tie them into a knot that is going to put the knot around my little form or my little seed bead down in there. So now I'll take and I'll put a couple of other really good knots in that clamshell to keep it the, exactly the way I want it. And you want to make sure that you get it even here on the ends with your clamshell. And I normally put about three good knots in there. You can kind of put however many you want. But once you've got it good and tight, I'm going to take a good pair of cutters and I'm going to trim the edges off. Now, I'm not going to trim it super close to the bead. I'm going to leave myself a good enough end here. 
And then I'm going to take, and just like I did on the other side, I'm going to press it closed just a little bit. Now before I completely close it, I'm going to go ahead and thread on one end of my clasp. And then I'm going to use a pair of round nose pliers. And I'm going to turn my little shepherd's hook. I'm going to turn it down. And when I turn it down, I'm going to turn it down inside the opening of the shell. Make sure you get it down in there. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to press it closed. Now, this is not the um, super correct way to close these, but I actually seen this on a piece of made in China jewelry that um, somebody had brought in and it had broken and they wanted me to fix it. And this right here to me was the neatest idea because it kept that good and tight down for you so that it wouldn't open. So that's what I like to do when um, I do a bracelet like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my other piece and I'm going to thread my piece of chain on and then I'm going to grab a hold of the end here. I'm going to turn it to where it turns down into the clamshell and then I'm going to take and close that shell. And when you do that, now you have your finished bracelet. So as you can see, you have a lot of different options here as far as all the different things that you can do with the cross weave technique. It's a lot of fun, it's really easy, and uh, you can whip it up in no time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, for more information, be sure and check out our website, offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com, and be sure to become our friends on Facebook, um, Off the Beaded Path. I uh, hope you and your family have a very beaded day. 